elements from media control to government control to energy control together into one apparatus working together effectively towards its final goal, which is you know, global control. Because of the compartmentalized pyramids that they've uh, constructed within all these institutions of government and finance and, and, uh, and corporations, the vast majority of people who are daily making contributions to push the world in this, uh, towards this Orwellian global state have no idea that they're doing that because they don't know how their contributions fit in with everyone else's, only the few at the top do. Most people don't have a clue that unelected private bankers actually control the governments of the world. There is this like cozy little <laughs> myth that is perpetuated between politicians and the media. The media report the world as if presidents and prime ministers are the final arbiters and decision makers in the world which means that the people above the level of presidents and prime ministers that really make the decisions, they're never looked at or exposed by the mainstream media because they're not accepted to exist. The central bankers of the world are working together to create a one world government, a global police state as sinister as anything George Orwell ever wrote about. Where every person on the planet Earth will have an RFID chip implant. It is an impl the first implantable microchip for humans that has multiple security, financial, and healthcare applications. More than a hundred law enforcement officials in Mexico are having microchips implanted in their arms. The chips allow a person to be scanned, sort of like a cereal box at the supermarket. Just like the microchips implanted in the necks of dogs and cats, allowing lost pets to be identified, this glass capsule can do the same for humans. A chip in everybody would be the universal monetary system par excellence. Uh, because there'd be no escape from it and you'd be uh, totally under the control of those who issue the electronic impulses in that chip. The problem throughout human society is that the good men and women do nothing. They don't want power. They don't want control. They want to, leave, uh, to lead a leisurely life. They want to spend time with their family. They want to lead simple lives. But we are forced throughout society, throughout history, and throughout human time to stand up against bullies. And many times we stand up before it's too late. And we reverse the course of tyranny. And more often than not, we don't stand up in time. And horrible things have to happen first. So decadent societies learn why liberty and freedom is so precious. If you think you don't like the situation now, then think what you're going to face a little way down the road. And more than anything, uh, think of what your children are going to have to face. But you think that we live in a controlled society now, this is nothing compared with what they are going to have to live in. So for, for in terms of uh, parents who, who are listening to this information, I would say this, go and look your children in the eyes and tell them that you can't be bothered or you're too frightened to do anything about it. You're too frightened to get involved, too frightened to get involved in, in being another conduit for um, getting this information uh, further and further expanded in, into the public mind, that you're too frightened to get together with others to stop cooperating with this system and to not be intimidated into coming into line which is a bit like coming into line in a concentration camp and uh, and and thinking it'll be okay as long as you stay in line and you do as you're told you'll be fine and then you realize at the end of it well actually it ain't fine and, and if you'd have all rebelled earlier that you wouldn't be in the situation you're facing now the point to, uh, uh, mathematics alone ought to uh, let us see where the real power is here. There are billions of people, six billion, nearly getting on to seven billion on this planet, who are being manipulated. There are, in full knowledge of what they're doing, a relative handful of those who are doing the manipulating to the end that we're talking about. They think they've beaten us. They think that they're going to have their way with us. And I'm here to tell them they're not going to have their way with us. We are going to defeat them. You guys aren't going to be able to get away with your New World Order, sir. Talk about building. You know what New World Order is. You will never get a New World Order. Never. National sovereignty will prevail. The New World Order is going down, sir. You can laugh. Wake up, people. Wake up. Research the New World Order. This is important. Look it up. Investigate it. Your New World Order will fall. Humanity will defeat you.